Hello, everyone. I'm Aibo Ni. Welcome to today's show, Workplace Safety Show. In most factories, employers do their best to provide a safe work environment to their employees. However, mishandling of workplace hazardous materials because of incorrect understanding on the part of employers or employees can cause harm to all's health. So, it's very important to have correct knowledge on workplace hazards. So, we are going to talk about the correct knowledge that our labor friends must know in their workplaces. Without further ado, we will begin our first. Section Call in intelligent agent. We welcome audiences to call in. You can ask us questions regarding workplace hazards or any danger that might happen in your workplaces. We have Amy Jean on the line. Miss Jean, please go ahead. Hi, I work in an adhesive factory, so I want to ask what things the workers should know about the manufacturing processes in an adhesive tape factory. With respect to hazardous materials that are harmful if we touch or inhale. Okay, so I'll use this adhesive tape factory manufacturing processes as an example. In such factory, workplace hazards come from methyl benzene and ethyl acetate during the adhesive manufacturing and adhesive mounting processes. These hazardous materials will evaporate into gas or vapor. Excess inhalation is harmful to human health. Also, they're harmful when touch the skin. Every hazardous material has a safety profile, although we have to use them in manufacturing process. With proper handling, you can ensure your health stays in check. You are welcome to call in again if you have further questions. Okay, we have David Hao on the line. Hello, Mr. Hao. Hi. I use methyl benzene in my workplace, so I want to know its effect on the human body. Okay, Mr. Hao. Methyl benzene is a common solution, but excess inhalation will be harmful to the human body. For example, superglue poison is actually methyl benzene poisoning. If you inhale superglue, this means the work area is contaminated with methyl benzene. If you start to feel headache, dizziness, or sleepiness, you might probably inhale too much methyl benzene. These symptoms may not be noticeable when you get used to inhaling them. However, prolonged exposure, a duration of 10 to 20 years, will damage central nervous system which then cause memory loss and degrade body coordination. Okay, I understand now. I will be extra careful when I go to work. Okay, next we welcome Lisa Chan. Go ahead, Miss Chan. Hi, I want to know more about ethyl acetate. How will it affect our health? Okay, ethyl acetate is more commonly known as EAC. EAC causes eye irritation. Over inhalation causes accelerated breathing, headache, tiredness, and dizziness. So, do you know more about ethyl acetate now? Yes, thank you. Wow, time flies by fast. This is it for a call-in intelligent agent. Please remember, there are potential work hazards in all work environments. All companies should have properly set up a control procedure. As long as we follow the proper procedures, we can avoid these hazards that we have talked about today. Next up is workplace safety search. Today's topic is how to avoid inhalation of hazardous materials to protect the health of our worker listener friends. Please stay with us. We'll now begin the second 